peace and love to all the beautiful souls out there. I hope you are all having an absolutely wonderful, magical, beautiful, glorious day. I'm sending you guys a lot of love, a lot of peace, a lot of healing energy. And I'm going back to the Great Awakening and why this is the most important time in the history of mankind, in our history itself. This is the most important time right now. We are going through an enormous transition. The planet is starting to shift its consciousness. It already has started to shift the consciousness. And in turn, the people of the planet are starting to wake up. So in masses around the world, there are millions of people who are starting to wake up to the true nature, to the true identity. Now this information is very esoteric and it, and it derives from you know, a, a variety of different cultures and people that are into metaphysics, um, deep hypnosis therapy, mediums, all that stuff, all with a very significant similar story about this great awakening and about all these souls that came back to this planet for this specific awakening to you know, raise the consciousness of the planet and help it shift into this fifth dimensional state, this fifth density state, and take the souls that are vibrating on the same frequency with it, right? So a lot of this information you can find from things like Dolores Cannon, um, Bashar, there's a lot of mediums in, around the world, a lot of world-renowned mediums that all talk about the same things that can tap into, you know, um, source intelligence, if you will, out of worldly intelligence that you know kind of let you know about our history our past and what's going on right now and why we came here so this is literally the most important time in history and they say that this has never happened in the history of the universe where an entire planet is actually shifting consciousness so it's a literal split just like an atom the earth will literally split apart from itself into a different dimension again very esoteric information, hard to understand, but I mean, you gotta be on a very open-minded and conscious level to dive into this information and understand in the first place and see where I'm coming from and see where all these other people are coming from. Obviously go out, do your own research and draw your own conclusions. Uh, Dolores Cannon was a big one for me. Um, she's a metaphysicist. She has done deep hypnosis therapy on thousands of patients. She passed away now, God bless her. Um, but she was able to access a part of their mind that was tapped into source. It tapped into their higher self and she had, you know, beings come through and tell her the meaning of life, why we're here, our history, our past, you know, this great awakening, all this stuff, things about, you know, Jesus Christ, ETs, the list goes on and on. She wrote 22 books and with all of her patients, the, um, the theme was the same, you know, the, the, the voices were the same. They all talked about this great awakening and it, it's very consistent across the board, if you will. So, you know, very, very good information. And, you know, I've seen, a, I saw a medium once, you know, completely by accident. Of course, I, I know the thing is people don't believe in mediums. Like, I don't believe in that. They're just, you know, fortune tellers, all that stuff. But you got to understand that, man, there's so much more to life than you guys realize so much more to life than you guys realize once you tap into certain things you're able to access information that is beyond your five senses right so that's done through constant meditation kundalini yoga you know grounding all these you know all these rituals if you will will help you gain access to this information and that's what they've done some of these beings have come here out of this world and you know they're, they're they just know this information when they're coming here that's why thousands and thousands and thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people across the world can remember past lives and they and a lot of them talk about this a lot of them talk about coming back for this great awakening coming back for this planetary shift right so right now is a very important time for all of us because it is extremely important to keep our dominant vibration at a very high level in order to step into this new earth now we came back here because we knew that the earth was in trouble. The earth is being ravished, ravaged, ravished, ravaged. <laughs> um, you know, obviously the forests are being destroyed. We're killing uh, 600 billion animals per year, or 60 billion animals per year, somewhere around there. Either way, it's ridiculous. And you know, it's not sustainable what we're doing. So they were worried that we were gonna destroy ourselves, destroy our planet, and in turn, it could you know, wreak havoc on the universe itself. 
you know, it could send out a ripple effect. So, you know, uh, because they can't interfere, they sent souls or we volunteered to come back here to raise the vibrational frequency of this planet. And the thing is, is when you raise your own dominant vibration, you actually raise the vibrational frequency of the planet because we are all one, we are all connected, we are one source one source energy right so as you raise your vibration you are helping raise the vibrational frequency of the planet right so that's your job and you know as i look at it it's it's um it's pretty unique how it was all structured and all set up because you know now i'm meeting people from all over the world that are on the same vibration and it seems like we were all put in different places to you know wake certain people up around us of course and help people out around us and in turn create this shift and help this shift you know really progress so it's a very beautiful time to be alive and, and i talk about how important it is because you know you do not want to be a part of this old earth the old ways are all about control and manipulation they're all about you know keeping you asleep and keeping you in bondage and keeping you ignorant to your true authentic self right so instead of being ignorant to your true authentic self you need to start looking inward and realize that you are an eternal spiritual being having a temporary human experience that you're you know literally here to help other people to spread love and awareness and to raise your own vibration to you know points where you can step into this new earth right so if we if we stay trapped in our old ways then we're going to continue recycling our old habits and we're going to continue seeing or recycling our old experiences as well, right? Things like, you know, drinking every single weekend or every single day, you know, eating toxic foods, consuming toxic things through the, you know, um, senses, the ears, the eyes, all of it, right? So we need to start becoming more authentic. We need to start pleasing ourselves and start to, instead of trying to please other people. And in turn, it's gonna better our lives. So right now, it's an extremely important time, guys. Extremely important. Um, if you guys are watching this, I know that either one, you are awake, or two, you are open to this information, right? So if um, if you're open to this information and things have started to you know happen to you that are kind of blowing your mind, just know and just be open to these things because this is life. Like honestly, I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, I've experienced some of the most mind-blowing things over the past five or six years that it, I can't even explain. Like I know for a fact that what I'm speaking is nothing but truth, right? So I always speak my truth no matter how much my voice shakes because I know that, you know, it's not gonna resonate with a lot of people. I know that a lot of people are gonna say, oh, he's crazy and all that stuff. And, and really, I don't give a shit, right? Because I know that this is the truth and I know that, you know, they're, they've been systematically programmed to believe a false reality. And that's what I'm trying to wake people up from, right? You gotta understand that you are a bi biological computer yourself. You, you're, you are a computer. Right? So you can be programmed with very specific things. So if you're someone that's watching the news every single day, you know, and you're absorbing all that negativity, then that's exactly what you're being programmed with. That's exactly what you're going to start seeing in your reality, right? Because you're being programmed with very certain things. But when you start to program yourself with positive, loving, healing emotions and, and thoughts, you start to see that play out in your reality. So you have the choice, you have the authentic choice on what your programming is. That's what's very unique about human beings is we have an authentic choice. You know, a locust doesn't have a choice but to be a locust. It has to destroy everything. Uh, on the flip side, you have a bee, right? A bee pollinates and makes everything beautiful. Without bees, we'd have pretty much nothing, right? So you have the choice to be a locust or to be a bee today, right? So it's extremely important that you guys start to gravitate towards your true authentic self and start helping as many people along the way as possible because that's what's gonna help this shift in consciousness because I know for a fact that new earth is gonna be beautiful. We're not gonna be killing billions of animals every single year. We're gonna be living in harmony with the earth. We're not gonna be destroying our forests, right? Like there's gonna be beautiful, beautiful infrastructure like everything's going to be perfect just like it was back in ancient days right that's where we're going back to that's where we're heading back to and that's what i'm so excited for and I, i've said this before guys listen you know 
the, the people of this earth that are speaking this truth, that are looked at as crazy and outsiders, are going to be the leaders of the new earth. So just look forward to that. You know, we're going to be the ones that are going to rise up and step into this new earth, and we're going to be the leaders of this new earth. And we're just going to lead with peace and harmony and abundance and respect for everyone. Everyone is equal. No one's, you know, no one's above anyone else. Just people are further along in their timelines than other people. That's all. It's all about evolution, right? So people are going to get there eventually. However, you know, I think it's our job to come here and help them along their ways. Help them out of bondage because there's very dark entities that are keeping them in bondage, right? So, you know, it, it is a job for us to come here and do this. And, and, and I can't stress the importance of these times. Like these times are so incredibly important because we have a choice, you know, as a collective to come together and help this planetary shift. Like we don't want to slow its progress. We know it's going to happen, but we don't want to slow its progress. And we can't buy into fear, right? Because fear is the illusion that keeps you in bondage. And fear is the main tool that these dark entities use, obviously. You know, you have to understand that they control everything. That's why your food is poison. That's why your water is poison. That's why your air is poison. That's why your media is poison. That's why everything is poison, right? And then everything that's good for you is hidden, right? Or really, really expensive. Think about that. You're not even allowed to buy seeds in America. Like, think about how crazy that is. Think about the control mechanism that they're using. Now, that being said, it's good to understand these things, but again, it's not good to focus on these things because that will lower your dominant vibration, right? So we need to take a step back when we understand, just understand, observe your thoughts, don't let those thoughts control you, and realize that you're an eternal spiritual being. You have the powers to do whatever you choose in your life. You have the powers to do whatever you choose, right? So choose love today. Choose love, choose peace, choose harmony, choose to help another person. Choose to spread a good message. You know, choose to be your true authentic self. Choose not to please or not to try to please other people by not being yourself because that's just going to hurt you in the long run. So raising your dom dominant vibration is the most important thing that you can do right now in order to step into this new earth, in order to step into this new world and be you know, the best version of yourself possible. Like I said before, guys, you can do absolutely anything you want in your lives. The choice is yours. So choose today what you want to do. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, we'll part ways. So peace, love, and have a glorious day.